Welcome ghost hunters and mystery enthusiasts to our journey through Illinois' most chilling haunts. From abandoned cemeteries to historic hotels, the Prairie State hides secrets that echo with the whispers of the past. Are you ready to step into the world of the unexplained and the eerie? Let's begin our descent into the top 10 most haunted places in Illinois. Number 10 is Bachelors Grove Cemetery, nestled away in the suburbs of Chicago. This desolate graveyard, overgrown and forgotten, is the center of over a hundred ghostly reports. The most famous is the White Lady, or Madonna of Bachelors Grove, seen on full moon nights, cradling a phantom baby in her arms. Visitors also report seeing ghostly figures, disappearing cars, and even a phantom farmhouse that materializes and vanishes without a trace. With so many sightings, Bachelors Grove is more than just a cemetery, it's a gateway to the unknown. Next number 9 on the list, Alton's McPike Mansion, a Victorian manor shrouded in mystery. Its crumbling walls and boarded windows give it an aura of long-forgotten grandeur. The mansion is notorious for its ghostly inhabitants, most notably the spirits of a former owner and a domestic servant. Visitors recount experiences of being touched by unseen hands, hearing children's laughter echo through empty halls, and encountering mysterious mists that form inexplicably inside the mansion. It's a place where the past is palpably alive, echoing through the corridors of time. At number 8, Resurrection Cemetery Injustice. Here lurks the legend of Resurrection Mary. Chicago's most famous ghostly hitchhiker. Since the 1930s, drivers along Archer Avenue have reported picking up a young woman in a white dress, only for her to disappear near the cemetery's gates. Mary is often described as having blonde hair and wearing a white party dress. Her story, intertwined with the city's folklore, continues to captivate and mystify. Is she a lost soul seeking return to her resting place? Or something else entirely? For our number seven spot, let's head to Peoria State Hospital in Bartonville, a place where history and hauntings intertwine. This abandoned psychiatric hospital with its crumbling walls and eerie atmosphere has been a hotspot for paranormal activity since its closure. Ghost hunters and visitors have reported hearing unexplained cries and whispers believed to be the lingering spirits of former patients. The most famous ghost is that of Old Book, a patient whose spirit was reportedly seen crying at his own funeral. The hospital's network of tunnels and decaying buildings continue to be a source of chilling encounters and ghostly tales. Next, number six, we venture to the Old Slave House, also known as Hickory Hill Inequality. This historic house carries a dark past, once used to illegally imprison slaves even after Illinois had abolished slavery. Visitors have reported hearing moans, chains rattling, and seeing apparitions in the windows. The most unsettling reports come from the attic, where the slaves were kept. Here, people have experienced feelings of intense dread and sorrow, a stark reminder of the house's grim history. If you're enjoying this spectral journey through Illinois, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. We've got more ghostly tales ahead and you won't want to miss a single one. Number five is in Springfield. The Dana Thomas House stands as a testament to architectural beauty and unexplained phenomena. Designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, this house is not just an architectural marvel. It's also known for its paranormal activity. Visitors and staff have reported strange occurrences like doors opening on their own unexplained footsteps, and a mysterious figure seen wandering the halls. Some believe it's the spirit of Susan Lawrence Dana, the original owner, ensuring her beloved home is well taken care of. Number four, the Tinker Swiss Cottage in Rockford, is next on our list. This charming Victorian-era house, built in the Swiss chalet style, holds more than just historical artifacts. It's a hotbed for paranormal activity. Built in 1865 by Robert Tinker, it's said that he and his family never really left. Visitors and staff have reported a multitude of unexplained occurrences. Objects move on their own, mysterious footprints appear out of nowhere, and the sound of whispers fills the air when no one is around. Most intriguingly, guests often feel an unseen presence, as if the Tinkers are still tending to their beloved home. The cottage, complete with its original furnishings, feels like a step back in time, but it's in the basement and the barn where the paranormal activity is most intense. Here, people have experienced sudden drops in temperature and the eerie feeling of being watched. Some have even captured ghostly figures in their photographs. Number three, Alton's Confederate prison, now just ruins, was once a place of immense suffering during the Civil War. The conditions were harsh, leading to numerous deaths. Today, it's said that the spirits of Confederate soldiers haunt the site. Ghostly apparitions, sounds of marching and unexplained lights have been reported. The energy here is palpable, as if echoes of the past are still resonating through the remnants of the prison. Number two, the Cheney Mansion in Jerseyville, a beautiful Victorian home is also known for its non-living residents. Visitors often report sightings of ghostly children playing in the house and the sound of a piano playing by unseen hands. 
The most active spirit is said to be a little girl named Sarah, often seen looking out of the windows. Her playful presence adds a bittersweet atmosphere to the mansion, bridging the gap between the past and present. Number one, we concluded our tour at the Congress Plaza Hotel in Chicago. This historic hotel is a magnet for ghost stories, with guests reporting numerous hauntings. Room 441 is particularly infamous, with reports of a shadowy figure and strange sounds. The hotel's long history is filled with tales of hauntings, from the ghost of a young boy playing in the halls to spectral figures in the ballrooms. The Congress Plaza is more than just a historic hotel. It's a hotbed of paranormal activity, inviting guests to experience a night with the spirits of Chicago's past. Our journey through the haunted heart of Illinois has come to an end. These locations, each with their own ghostly tales, offer a glimpse into the state's eerie past. Have you ever experienced the unexplained in Illinois? Share your stories in the comments. For more explorations into the paranormal and mysterious, stay tuned and keep exploring with us.